up YouTube? It's your girl Miss Katrina G and I'm back with another video. Ms. Katrina G says, trust the process. Work your way through it. You got this. You're winning all year long. Yes, you're in control. So go ahead and trust the process. And it comes from Ms. Katrina G. So if you have love, remember, love conquers all. Love conquers all. It's everything. The total situation. You're going to win. Press your way through. You got this. Yes, because God is love. YouTube, it's your girl Miss Katrina G, and I'm back with another video. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel where I am Miss Katrina G, and we are the Love Jones family. Happy Friday, everybody! Happy Friday, long awaited Friday. If we can remember during quarantine what day of the week it is as far as numbers as far as day but we know it's friday for sure when friday comes we know it's friday so anywho welcome to those who are newly subscribed to your girl's channel thank you so much for joining the love jones family on this side of youtube where there's nothing but positivity and good vibes also do not forget if you have not already subscribed go ahead and subscribe to your girl's channel join the family and don't forget to hit that bell while you're at it go ahead and ring that bell um, so you miss none of the post notifications coming your way on this side of YouTube don't forget to give this video a thumbs up letting your girl Miss Katrina G and the Love Jones family know that you enjoyed this video go ahead and comment down below because on this side of YouTube we do post notification shout outs each and every single day and of course because you checked in with the Love Jones family, you gotta get your shout out. So go ahead and submit your name for the post notification shout outs down below in the comment section. And don't forget to share, 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 share this video with anyone. And with everyone letting them know what your girl Miss Katrina G and the Love Jones family is doing on <laughs> this side of YouTube. So guys, I know, I know, I know you saw mine. Uh, what, what do you say flashback Friday photos from when I was a little bitty girl to high school all the way up until I would say my 20s and now I'm 32 I am thankful to be 32 I thank God for the years that he's carried me through I am so thankful for how far I've come 
Um, you also was able to see my, uh, I think I did a story time on basketball guys when I was in high school. Well, middle and high, I played sports. So I was like a jock um, in high school, but I was the kind of jock that wasn't like, you know, stuck up. I got along with everybody guys. I got along with who they considered the nerds and everybody by the grace of God, you know, I was the one who beat off the bullies. So, but my journey has been awesome. And today we're gonna just discuss, you know, as we go take, go back down memory lane, we're gonna go over and talk about some stuff that we can kind of reminisce on in our lives and growing up, whether it was in high school, elementary school, adolescent, whatever. So yeah, anywho, I have a sponsorship with Reynolds Pastry. Reynolds Pastry, guys. So this is what I'm gonna eat today. Y'all remember pastries? I thought this would be good to bring this out while I am doing the um, Flashback Friday because I know pastries, they have a history and pastries been around for so long. I know Reynolds Pastry, which is a local um, shop here in Milwaukee. If you are in Milwaukee, you know exactly what Reynolds Pastry Shop is. And their pastries, OMG guys, are so, so, so good. I've had it before. It was established back in 1956. I believe it's a family owned business, Authentic Northern Pastries. So your girl gonna try it out today. <laughs> but I was like, well, I've been doing a whole lot of cooking and I got a whole lot of cooking to go. So why not go ahead and get their sponsorship in? And that is Reynolds Pastries. If you're in the area, check them out. But they're awesome. So anywho, that's what we're gonna have on the menu today. We also have a Santa Fe salad. Santa Fe salad, something nice and light today. I got my sour cream. Your girl gotta have sour cream. But anywho, we gonna have Grace and we gonna get to go, go. we gonna take a trip back down memory lane. <laughs> Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this meal. We ask right now that you bless this meal and bless those who do not have a meal. We ask that you bless this world, bless this country, bless the Love Jones family, as well as bless my family and all those who are on the sidelines watching as well. In your son Jesus' name we pray, amen. So y'all. And it's crazy because I have a million photos. I don't want to like drown y'all, but I know when I do commentary, it's like maybe three minutes or so. So I was like, okay, I have a little time to do my um, my photos, but I wanted to get enough in where you guys can kind of get to know me as well. You know, um, you see me on YouTube, you know, you see me um, doing my YouTube thing and I try to, you know, when I was in church and stuff, well, I'm still in church, but when I was, um, more active before the quarantine I was trying to do vlogs where you guys could actually get to know me for me you know instead of just seeing me for like 15 20 minutes on the camera get to know my history where I come from I am super grateful guys for where I come from um, we didn't always have everything but my mom worked so hard um, for what we did have becoming a nurse to me, she was my biggest role model because she did that with four kids as a single mom. Um, so that was just the most blessing, the most um, a person, a parent could do for their child is is, is um, strive to make their lives easier, you know? So everybody can't do that, but she had the will and the drive and God was on her side. All right, so this is the pastry, y'all. It's steaming. I put sour cream in it. I think it's potatoes, carrots, ground beef, all that good stuff. So let's see Reynolds, let's see what you're working with. Mm. Hot. <laughs> it's hot, but it's good. I'm sorry guys, if you hear any noise in the background, I'm trying to drown it out. <laughs> but they're working on the street and I ain't complaining because it's, it's, it's about time. It's about time they work on our streets, y'all. Mm-hmm. But yeah, guys. Um, some of the photos were with my mom. I was very, very close with my mom. I had took her to Vegas and I took her to Cancun, Mexico. Um, my brother, he the one who's in Houston now, which I have to go see. I have to go back to Houston. I was on the phone with him and his family yesterday. And to me, family is super big. I have so many more photos of me and my nieces and my nephews and um, I'm really big with family. I think it's, it's like super important y'all. 
um, you know, sometimes families fall out. And that's typical. Um, but my pastor always teaches us and teach us. It's not what people think of you. It's what you think of them that matters. That's what when your, um, your humility, your humbleness, your um, gratitude, your crown, that's what allows God to um, be more, I mean, he's graceful anyways, but that's where your, um, your extra jewels that go on your crown come from. Even though people may be family friends, may be mean or um, unforgiving to you, it's not what you think. It's not what people think of you. It's what you think about them that counts. Okay. And I thank God for wise people around me who have taught me that. <laughs> because it takes a lot of grace and a lot of um, humility to be able to accomplish that. Wisdom is the word mm -hmm. so guys in one of my story times I told you guys I played basketball so I was kind of like a tomboy there's one photo in there if you guys can and I circled it if you might you want to go back there's a photo that I posted in the mix of it all you know Miss Katrina G always got to have a twist and on that photo, I want you guys to tell me which one is me. It was my middle school photo. Guys, I have always been goofy all my life in middle school. Elementary school, guys, I did a lot of acting. And so I would be the one. I, I was always on honor roll, too. I was a very, very smart kid by the grace of God. Um, and my mom. My mom did not play. My dad, you know, dads are chill. But my mom... She didn't play. Mm -mm. So I was like the um, the actress of the school, y'all. The comedian, the actress, and all of the different units. Especially when it came to like black um, programs, black history, stuff like that. They would come and get me. <laughs> and I did Aretha Franklin. I did Billie Holiday. Um... The Temptations, I was one of the Temptation girls where the guy, he brought me the rose. I know y'all like this girl is really reminiscent. Flashback Friday. And so, that was just so much fun. So I was like the teacher's pet. I didn't have any um, <laughs> trouble in, in school. I would say in middle school, I started to smell myself and feel myself when I got into middle school. And so I wanted to hang with my friends and my mom was like, oh God. Here we go. And now that I look back, I'm like, puberty. Mm -hmm. This is pretty good, y'all. It's easy, too. I look back and I'm like, oh, that was puberty. That was definitely pu puberty. So, oh, the meat fell. This is it. I don't know if y'all can see it. But it's pretty meaty. So... My mom whooped that butt though. Mm -mm. She got you in line right away. She didn't wait until you know it got like to a point where you running away and stuff. No, my mom told that butt up ASAP. And so my siblings and they always watch me. So oh well, <laughs> I'm the baby. I'm telling on y'all. So I'm the baby of four. And I was the honor roll kid, guys. So, and my grandfather, who um, spoiled me rotten, he um, did something where we all had a competition. Whoever get, whoever get the best report card for the quarter. Mm. Whoever got the best report card got the water jug full of change, the money, dollars, whatever. I'm pretty sure y'all know what I'm talking about. And guess who won? Me. But in the process, my two oldest siblings 
they um <laughs> got bad report cards they were in a different grade too and definitely was spelling themselves and trying to fit in which we all have and so mama took a mug shot y'all <laughs> mama took a mug shot and put it on that refrigerator oh my god so every time we go eat whatever family come over company friends that mug shot that's why i'm so thankful for my mom as the youngest i saw that so i would say it worked in my favor being the youngest although i tried to work a little bit harder because <laughs> i would be like my big siblings but i got to be able to jump over hurdles because i saw them kind of like bump their heads which is typical it's typical in life and so i was like oh i want to try that one because my mom was a hands-on mom in spite of her being a full-time nurse she worked doubles she would give people the clothes off her back and i would um dedicate mother's day my mother mother's day video to my mom and you'll see more and you get to know more but anywho she would um no matter how much money she had she would um take she had four kids of her own which is a lot of kids to me <laughs> but she would tell us you can invite a friend if we go to disney world not disney world yeah we went to disney world invite like six people wherever we went she tells us we can invite somebody and she'll pay she would want, of course, as a parent, I feel like you should send your kid with money. But my mom, she did not want a child to feel left out, feel bad, you know. And that's, I think, where we get it from. I know for a fact that's where I get it from. Um, considering others' feelings before I try or do something. You know, I was the kid in school who I knew, like, I was the one who would, uh... <laughs> Who would really really feel bad like if it was a kid i know y'all probably some of y'all like that you could probably relate if it was a kid who was like less fortunate you know and or they smell like urine or must whatever you could just see a situation i just was so sad like i would look at that kid and just be so sad and i'll try to go home and see what we can do to help but yeah mm -hmm. god is good and you know you never think about you know you become a teenager i start smoking dating somebody all in the streets doing stuff i was not raised to do at all you know straight away but thank god it didn't last long trouble don't last always and you can feel the prayer of your mother your grandmother your father the aunties. You can feel their prayer on you when you're in the streets. But I knew um I knew I had a special calling from God um at the age of like twenty two. But my mom had always um told me she told me a story guys and this is a deep story she said she was at the grocery store y'all and she was getting her groceries or whatever. Um, this is good. I got fruit punch today, y'all. Mm, I'll get back to the story. So, cheers to you. Happy Friday. Mm -hmm. Flashback Friday. <laughs> Anywho. She was leaving the grocery store here. And her hands was were extremely full. Like extremely full. And I was skipping ahead of her. A little girl just skipping. And she said she looked up. And as I was skipping, it was a pickup truck. I'm gonna show you like this. There was a pickup truck bagging up. And here I am. Doo-doo-doo. And here comes the pickup truck. 
And my mom, she said she just, she barely could speak, but she screamed and she got it out. She was like, my baby, my baby, no, stop, stop. The vehicle didn't hear her, obviously. And she like, you're just trailing along, skipping along. And here it is, I kid you not. And she told me this, she told me this story all the time. And there it is. And she dropped her bags and she was headed to me. And she said, she know it was an angel. She was like, I knew it was an angel that just literally reversed you. She was like, it She was like, it was like a robot. It turned you around and you just came running back to me like nothing happened. And that story to me just touched me. It touched me in a big way. So that was when I was like five, six years old, six years old. You know how kids just skip ahead of you, put your mom and parent try to keep close. But I think that one, that situation just became, it went too far. Yeah. So. Then she said, that's how I knew you were special. <laughs> but. Yeah. I think when we hit puberty, whoo, because I went from a teacher's pet to, I was still a good kid. I became a town boy. I was always a town boy though, beating boys up in the neighborhood. I was the bully beater. Beating up the bullies. Couldn't stand a bully. So, but I was the one who loved to fight. Nobody wanted to fight me. They were like, look, Katrina, you play basketball, you work out every day. We are fine, girl. Do your thing. <laughs> so I was a little something else. Because I love to fight guys. Like, I love to fight men. <laughs> not men. No, not men. Boys growing up because I was a town boy. So the girls was like, we ain't got a chance. But I was very um, goofy, likable person. So I didn't really have those problems. High school, as we were reflecting flashback I miss high school so much playing sports I did tennis I did track and field I did basketball I'm pretty sure a lot of my teammates watch me or classmates whatever because they see me on YouTube but I did all those things in high school and I tell you it kept me out of trouble it kept me out of trouble <clears throat> it kept me focused and um, like now with YouTube when I feel like I can be distracted, I grab something and I focus on it. More so, the Lord. Um, but I did sports. Because I always did like acting, modeling, all that stuff growing up. And um, I was actually supposed to be in Miss Wisconsin. And we um, didn't meet the deadline. They sent me a letter, a random letter. And we didn't meet the deadline. Mama, she responded too late, so that's fine. Anywho. But, yep, one time in high school, guys, my high school was so bad. One time in high school, we had, um, I was downstairs, obviously, doing my sports or wrapping up. My mom, they were outside picking me up. And somebody literally was getting shot on the front porch of the high school. So I'm grateful that God kept me busy. And it kept me focused and out of trouble. But my friends, the basketball players, we all hung out together. We was like literally family, y'all. Like we went to church together. We hung out together. We laughed. We cried. Um, some of them. Um, mother was, you know, on drugs. Uh, family members, you know, grandparents had to take care of them. And some of them had to take care of themselves. And so we were like a family. We, we looked out for one another. We made sure each other was okay. So I have no complaints. God has been super, super good to me. And um, that's why I strive to live my life. You can never pay him back for all that he do for us. But the best thing you can do is love his people and um, try to give back where you can. Either physically, financially, um, a nice smile, patience love so anywho 
go ahead take a look at that photo tell me which one is me it's the middle school photo um i will circle it for you guys so you can know which one and i will give that person five raffle tickets Ooh, that's big five raffle tickets to the person who get that correctly which one is miss katrina g i already gave you some hints how i was in middle school so prayer for you listen anyways here's my outfit of the day i have on my red dress yes shoulders out shoulders out with my red and gold necklace guys yes and it's a cute knee high dress. It flows very nicely with my red earrings. Ooh, drip, 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 drip. And my beautiful, beautiful red and gold uh, bracelet with, of course, the rubies. You gotta bring out the rubies. You gotta do the ruby thing. So, anywho, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I cannot go without giving out my shout outs. So, Reminisce on your flashback Friday. What do you remember? I don't usually do it, but uh, I thought that would be a great topic. Flashback Friday. <laughs> and it's a way that you guys can get to know who Miss Katrina G really is. Where did she come from? It's so important to remember where you come from and to reflect on where you come from so you'll know where you're headed. And a lot of things that happened in our past has nothing to do with us, um, especially the bad things. Um, but we should be grateful for whatever experience we have and it should teach us and help us how to um be better in our future or how to um overcome in our future so my first shout out goes to toy bell the way you can get your shout outs is get the comment section right away <laughs> and check in with the low jones and i got you toy bell glinda williams james kiss miss B and fam hey y'all scooby jackson in the building we also have tracy ann jackson eleanor thomas stacy wilson me shelly b miss annette stewart consuela cohen we also have caroline harrington kimberly dorsey in the building and jesse freeman lastly we got maria johnson thank you guys so much for your support i appreciate each and every one of you i love you guys so much as well as those who did comment and i didn't get to you i do apologize but at the same time you understand your girl can only do so many shout outs but i'm grateful for all of you even those who did not comment some people just watch they don't like to comment but that's okay i love you and i appreciate you for all that you guys do I want you to stay safe, stay blessed, and just thank God for how far you've come, where you're headed, and where you're going. We just thank God for um, every day. Because it could have been me outdoors with no food and no clothes. All right, guys. So I want you guys to stay safe, stay blessed, check on somebody, tell them you love them, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. See ya.